gratitude greetings healing is everything and who better than shri hari priya who does wonders she is a licensed heal your life workshop leader she is a healer she is a nutritionist she is a life coach and a self discovery guide so much to learn from her i really look forward to interacting with her welcome shri hari priya hello how are you today i am super awesome what because it's friday of, thanks what is the secret of being super awesome because i love myself how do love yourself just be kind nothing else just be kind with yourself just have a nice positive self talk once you wake up and be in the sense of gratitude always to god and universe or higher source whatever you call uh just be grateful that the, uh, you woke up today you are breathing you are alive awesome what are three tips you want to give when it comes to heal your life oh first tip is uh, develop the best relation with yourself first again it comes to you know become aware completely about yourself before trying to know others know about yourself accept yourself as you are because i believe and i learned from my uh, teachers and mentors and uh, the iconic lady of self love louise hay who always says self awareness and self acceptance are the keys you know for the transformation journey to begin so when you don't know who you are where you are what you are so how will you even start so first thing is become aware of yourself know your strengths know your weaknesses and accept everything as it is stop criticizing yourself stop judging yourself be kind and compassionate with yourself and love yourself more and more and more because love is so powerful that it can heal anything in the world you don't need any weapon you don't need any swords sticks knives just heal with love win the battles with love win the war with love anything else you want to add on um and i love uh, uh being grateful that is one thing so always like always uh, see the positivity in anything that is happening around you anything that you have any small thing like j- just be grateful that you have it in your life and nobody hurts you intentionally so it's just we feeling that somebody is hurting us so that person may definitely have a positive intention behind and they may not be able to express it and uh, we start you know uh, creating stories in our mind based on their actions so when you are creating a story and it's like uh, making you feel bad please rewrite that story into something which makes you feel so good and enthusiastic and excited yeah now i realize i'm a happy work in progress <laughs> we are all work in progress and we are here to help each other and grow together yeah so we all live in stories we all live in thoughts so why not change those into something very good very loving very positive 
Okay, obey you. <laughs> and what put are... yourself first. Yeah. And fill your cup first. And fill your cup with all the loving things. So that you can only serve love and you become an epitome of love. Okay. What are three tips you want to give to become the epitome of love? Uh, you can start with simple thing like sitting in silence at least just for five minutes a day. And when you go into silence, you're just clear. You know, there's a vacuum. Try to go into that state where you are just empty. And from there you start getting clarity. And one more thing I suggest is read something new every day. Because the moment you stop reading, the, you stop growing. And when you read something new, you are just, you know, training your mind. You're just replacing that uh, whatever uh, limiting beliefs you had or negative uh, thoughts you had. You're just replacing them with new things. You're just clearing your clutter. So that is uh, one thing. And third thing is what I love is decluttering. Decluttering your physical space, digital space, mental space, emotional space. And you need not uh, um, so it's completely like your choice, right? And you need not stay in that loop. You, need, you will get stuck. Right? And stagnant. And then you start smelling bad. And you start rusting. So no resting. Resting is rusting. So no resting. Keep doing. Push yourself. Keep doing something new every day. One small step at least. Okay. And uh, if you want to rise high in life, take that risk. So just replace like R-I-S-E is rise. So replace E with K. Take that risk and rise high. So end your all your end all your uh, bad habits. End all your it all starts with a thought, right? So end your negative thinking. Just take the risk. Go ahead, and no matter you, you may fail once, you may fail twice. It's just like a small child trying to walk who falls down, gets up, who falls down, gets up and eventually walks his own path, right? So we are also the same. And every failure is just an experience and a feedback. So when we start changing our thinking and talking to ourselves in that way, changing that language also, like how we talk, instead of saying, oh my God, I failed. Now how can I face the world? So just tell yourself, great, you attempted and learn from it and do it again. So what a, that small shift, it brings massive results. Okay, my favorite question now, which are your three happiest moments? Oh, three happiest moments. Um, I was uh, given the gold medal in school for being a topper consequent, consequently for four years. And uh, that was one of my moments. And the second one was uh, when I was certified by Arfin Khan, which was uh, a dream impossible to me at that state, like three years back. So that's a great achievement for me. And uh, the third one is uh, bringing about a change in people's life. Like when I am coaching and now I started my talk shows that uh, I feel this is a great, like I'm feeling so happy that I am able to reach out to hundreds of people who are watching my talks. So true. What is one thing you're super proud of? Wow, Shri Hari Priya. 
I'm super proud of moving out of my house and going to studio to deliver the talk. Wow. <laughs> facing okay. the amazing. Facing the camera because that that was the biggest resistance in my life. Yes. And now you are a star. People love you. Thank you. And people get healed seeing your smile, Thank seeing you. your confidence. Thank you. Listening to your Thank wisdom. You. Yes. Life in one word. One word answers. Oh. Life, I call, like, according to me, it's a very, very big file. And that file, I define it as um, fulfill, F for fulfill, I for your identity, L with love, E with expression. So fulfill your identity with love and expression. Okay. Love in one word. Love. Love is a healer. Healing in one word. Healing is love. <laughs> Coaching in one word. Healing is happy. Oh, Sunny, you're making it difficult for me, who is a chatterbox. One you're word. asking me to answer one word. One word only. Okay. <laughs> Coaching is uh, helping you unleash yourself. Shri Hari Priya Unleashing. is Shri Hari Priya is power. You are power. You are a powerhouse. You are a lighthouse. And I wish you all the best in all your noble futures and endless endeavors. Keep smiling, shining and inspiring. Thank you so much for inspiring me today. Thank you. Thank you, Sunny, for this opportunity. God bless you for whatever you're doing and give you more power. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome.